Hello people and welcome to the Counterfactual Stories YouTube channel. Today we will talk about one very interesting story and that is uh, how John Wayne was related to chess. But before we start, don't forget to press subscribe button. John Wayne was born, uh, as you probably know, as Marion Robert Morrison on May 26, 1907 in Winterest, Iowa. His family moved to Glendale, California in 1916. It was Glendale firefighters who gave Wayne his nickname, Duke, which was also the name of his family's dog that he took with him when visiting a firehouse in the neighborhood. One of the Wayne's favorite pastimes was playing chess and he engaged in a few correspondence chess games. In the 1925, John Wayne graduated from Glendale High School. One of his high school teachers at Glendale Union High School wrote, he, he means John Wayne, headed to school's debate team, won honor spin several years in a row, played an aggressive game of chess and graduated salutarian in a class of 200 students. John Wayne found uh, work at the local film studios when he lost his football scholarship to the University of Southern California as a result of a body suffering accident and a broken collarbone. In 1930, he changed his name to John Wayne. From 1933 to 1945, he was married to Josephine Alice Sands. There is no indication she played chess. They had four children, including film producer Michael Wayne, actor Patrick Wayne, Mary Tony Morrison, and Melinda Morrison. All of his children played chess. In 1942, John Wayne played chess with Marlene Dietrich between takes in Pittsburgh. They had met earlier in 1940 and had an affair that lasted for several years. John Wayne later described Dietrich as the most intriguing woman I ever known. From the 1946 to 1954, he was married to Esperanza Bur. It is unknown if she played chess. In 1947, John Wayne starred in Tycoon. Between scenes, he carried a miniature chess board and played chess with the cast members. In 1948, in the film uh, Godfathers, his character Robert Mamaduke Hightower played chess. When asked what Marshall Sweet was going to do with bank Robert Hightower, when he gets him behind bars, the Marshal says, I'm gonna play him a game of chess, he will be right good at it too, I will bet. Later the two do, do play chess, while Hightower sits in jail awaiting his trial verdict. In 1948, so the same year, during the filming of Red River, Wayne played lots of chess matches with Pierce Leiden, who had a small part in the movie as a scout. During the filming, Pierce and Wayne played dozens of chess games, with Wayne winning every game. In 1949, John Wayne starred in the fighting Kentuckian. Between takes, John Wayne would play chess with his stand-in. In 1949, John Wayne starred in The Sense of Iwo Jima. He spent time with the younger actors running lines with them and playing chess with them. 1953, John Wayne starred in Hondo. He played chess often during breaks on the set. In 1954, John Wayne married Pillar Palette. They were married from 1954 to 1979. She was a chess player and they played chess together at home or on location. In 1957, John Wayne starred in Jet Pilot. The director was Joseph von Sternberg. Von Sternberg notes that, noticed that John Wayne brought a chess board to set and made a remark about the excellence of his own game. John Wayne said, I played him without looking at the board and I beat him. Pure luck, he was livid. Von Sternberg was a member of the Hermann Steiner Chess Club in Hollywood. In 1959, John Wayne starred in Rivo Bravo. Between takes, he played chess with his son Patrick, Claude Atkins, Dean Martin, and Ricky Nelson. Atkins said that he always beat John Wayne when they played chess. In 1961, during the filming The Command Cheros, Wayne spent his time between takes playing chess. In 1962, Wayne bought a former novel, Wassel and installed a chess table on it. He spent hours playing chess on his board, the Wild Goose. 
Wayne, uh, Wayne spent as much time as he could on the White Books, cruising between Newport Beach, Catalonia Beach Island and Mexico in the winter and Alaska and Vancouver in the summer. Wayne spent the time playing chess or reading a good book in his yacht. In 1963, in the film McLintock, a modern day timing of the shoe, his character George Washington McClintock played chess in the introduction credits, the chess set is set up wrong, white square to the left. The movie takes place in a US territory, Arizona or New Mexico, in the late 19th century. Jake Birnbaum keeps a chess set on a wooden table in the back room of his general store. Cattle Baron and landowner McClinton walks in the back room with Jake and points to the position set up on the board, approaching on the black side problem, he asks Jake. Jake says yes and McClinton says, well, if I were blacks, I would move Queen Bishop to King Four. This is an impossible move regardless of where the pieces are assigned. The black Queen's Bishop is always on the light square and King Four uh, for black is a dark color is square. Birnbaum accepts the advice, moves the bishop, it looks like it went to black screen for square and says yeah you might be right you know I was just starting to work without when he, the letter came. Uh, later we see McClintock in the study of his ranch house where he has a chest set on display. McClintock then goes into town and meets Birnbaum again. As GW enters the saloon, Birnbaum is leaving the saloon and says to McClinton, wrong move, chess problem, Queen is in danger. So instead of going into the saloon, GV, GW follows Birnbaum back to his store. The next scene is a game of chess where Birnbaum has white against McClinton, while Sheriff Lord and Borg, uh, Barger Camille Reedbottom are spectacles. spectacles. Soon, a strange wife, Catherine, comes into the back room where GW and Birnbaum are playing chess. Catherine sits and watches the game while Camille says to Catherine, I'm Camille Redbottom, I'm uh, learning the game of chess. Thought it would give me something to pass the time, I have nothing to do all day long, I just remember something. Then she leaves. Uh, George Washington and Birnbaum uh, argue on whose move it is and Birnbaum points out that his GW moves as Birnbaum just castle. Later Catherine says now look here, you're not going to sit here all night long and play just when the matter of our daughter remains unsettled. Catherine wants to take her daughter back to the state capital and in New York and GW wants her to stay in the town. McClinton replies I'm going to remain here and play chess and the matter of our daughter is settled. She says Catherine uh, resolves to wait him out uh, but she falls asleep as Jake and McClinton play chess all night long and into dawn. Later, Birnbaum resigns one of his games when a new spectacle, a new hire, Devlin Warren, says, oh no, Mr. Birnbaum, you still got a good game. So Birnbaum suggests that Devlin take over to his side. McClinton then says, pretty good. And Devlin replies, fair. McClinton then says, remember, I'm a bad loser, it's your move. Marines, house band, uh, USF, Brigadier General Charles Blair was a keen chess player and Wayne and Blair played a lot of chess together. During the breaks of the movie, John Wayne and his son Patrick played chess. In 1965, during the making of In Harm's Way, John Wayne and Kirk Douglas would play chess between takes. In 1966, longtime friend of John Wayne, Jimmy Grant, died. Grant, who was a screenwriter, played chess with Wayne for over uh, 20 years and never won a game. In 1966, during the making of El Dorado, John Wayne played chess between takes with James Caan. In 1960s, actor Ed Faulkner was in many moves with John Wayne, was one of the Wayne's main chess partners. In 1968, during the making of Hellfighters, John Wayne spent a great deal of time on the set, off in a corner playing chess. 
In 1969, John Wayne played a lot of chess with photojournalist David Sutton. During movie break, Sutton said that he played over 500 chess games with Wayne over their lifetime. In an interview, Sutton said during the past few years, I guess we have played as many as 500 games of chess on his yacht, the Wild Goose, at his home, on his ranch, on location, he beats me sometimes and I win a few, but that's not important, the important thing is that we have a ball. In, uh, in 1970, in the film Chisholm, his character John Chisholm plays chess while shooting the movie when invited Christopher Mitchum, the son of Robert Mitchum, to play chess. Christopher said that Wayne would cheat, sometimes moving two pieces simultaneously while using his big hands to block Chris view. At first, Christopher didn't know what to do and he complained to veteran actor Ed Faulkner who would work with Wayne over the years, Ed advised Christopher to call him out on it. The next game, Christopher caught Wayne cheating against, saying, excuse me Duke, but you're cheating, Wayne replied, well, I was wondering when you were going to say something. Uh, set them up, we will play chess. In 1973, John Wayne's wife insisted that he accompany her to tennis tournaments in which she played. John Wayne would show up and the officials gave him a trailer to stay in. Rather than watch tennis, John Wayne hang up a sign, do you want to play chess with John Wayne? Fans aligned as up they got a chance to play a quick game of chess with John Wayne. In 1976, John Wayne starred in his last film, The Shootist. Between takes, he was off somewhere uh, resting, napping or playing chess. One of the few persons that could beat Wayne was Dave Grayson, the makeup man for the film. Dave could beat him and you could stomp around and curse about it, but he wasn't really mad, he loved a good game. Patrick Wayne, his son, wrote I used to play chess with my dad a lot, but I never fared very well. But there was this one particular time when I won three games in a row. He started to set the pieces up again and I said, I'm tired, I don't want to play again. And he followed me around with the board for hours, trying to get me to play with him again. And finally, I agreed and we sat down and he slaughtered me. Another of John Wayne's chess partners throughout the years was William Windom. Windom. John Wayne made 142 pictures, uh, 83 west westerns, during his career and probably played chess between takes in all of those pictures. Wayne died of stomach cancer of June uh, 11, 1979, at the age of 92 in Los Angeles, California. Uh, I'm not aware that any of his chess games were recorded and saved or not. I hope you liked this episode, don't forget to press subscribe button and see you soon, bye.